Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new social study lesson. Please get our community and beyond book ready and let's start. We will be starting with maps and gloves lesson two and that will be page 64. All right, the central question. What can we learn from maps and gloves? What do you think? You know, after covering the lesson, we'll be able to answer this question. The word for this lesson, political map, peninsula, model, physical map, and globe. So let's listen to the definition for these words again before we start our lesson. A globe is a round model of Earth. A model is a small copy of something. A peninsula is land with water on all sides except one. Physical maps show land and bodies of water. Political maps show borders or lines between areas. Very good. So let's go back to our book and start. Political maps. Remember, previous lesson we were talking about, about Mrs. Stein's uh, classroom and we draw a map for her classrooms and we learn about the title, the elements of the, of the map, and we learn about um, symbols that it's a drawing or a picture that uh, give ideas for people what they're looking for. So today we will be talking, under, in this lesson we'll be talking about political maps. All right. Mrs. Steins asks the class if they have ever used a map before. Was it at the zoo, at the mall, or on a bus trip? You are now going to learn about two different kinds of maps, says Mrs. Steins. They are called political maps and physical maps. Let's begin with the political maps. All right. Political maps show borders or lines between areas. Borders show where a state or a country ends. A polit this political map shows North Carolina and the states that border North Carolina. Ms. Stein, Stein still the class. So this is the map of North Carolina. So this is the political map for North, Cal North Carolina. As you see, it shows borders between states and cities. And I can see that on the north, I can see Virginia. On the south, I see South Carolina. On the east, I see the Atlantic Ocean. All right. And here's my legend or the map key. I see Raleigh, the capital, I see city. So when it's a capital, I see the uh, symbol. The symbol is a star, so this is Raleigh. So when I see a star, mean this is the capital. And with that dot, it's the city. So Durham, and I see Marion, and I see uh, different cities. And I see here my home, but I need to draw the symbol. So let's see what's the activity we have to do. Let's read again. Political maps show borders or lines between areas. Borders show where a state or a country ends. This political map shows North Carolina and the states that border North Carolina. Mrs. Stein still tell the class. All right. This picture is above. It says, do you know? So this is just information. Did you know this picture above shows an old state capitol building? See the really tall building behind it? This one? That is a new state capital. All right. Draw a picture of a house on the map. Then draw a symbol for the house on the map key. So you need to just choose a location and draw a house. So you know, as you just showing me a house on a map. And then after that, draw the map key here, draw the symbol, uh, for the house next to where it says my home, just draw a symbol of house. This is a simple activity. All right, so again, that was the political map for North Carolina. And we know that political map show borders and lines between areas such as uh, states, country, and uh, other places. All right, now we go for the next um, um, kind of maps is physical maps. Remember, Mrs. Steins was saying there's two types of uh, maps, and she said political maps and physical maps. So now we're going to talk about physical maps. Page 66. 
Now the class looks at the physical map. Mrs. Steins explained that physical maps show different kinds of land, such as peninsula and swamps. Physical maps also show bodies of water, such as oceans, lakes, rivers, and gulfs. Look at the physical maps. Do you live near any of the places on this map? So this is the map of physical map. It says here, Utah physical map. And as I can see, the Great Salt Lake, and I see Sevier River, and I see Blue Bell Knoll. So this is the map key up there. And you see the symbol for lakes and rivers. It's a blue rectangular. And mountains, I can see pyramids. And for the desert, I can see um, yellow, kind of brownish um, rectangular. All right. Utah is home to the Bonville Salt Flats. The smooth salt surface is ideal for auto and motorcycle racing. So Utah is well known for that. All right, they have a little activity here. You can do that with your pencil. So follow the Colorado River with your pencil. So look at the Colorado River and follow with your pencil. So over here, you're gonna go with your pencil. All right, and as I see here, my cardinal direction or campus rules, I see north, south, east, and west. Okay, draw a circle around the Salt Lake Desert. So remember, the Great Salt Lake Desert, I know, this is the symbol. It's kind of brownish rectangular. So this is what you need to do a circle. You draw a circle over here. All right. So, so far for this lesson, we learned a few new words, political map, physical maps, peninsula, globe, and model. And we learned about uh, two kinds of maps, political maps and physical maps. We learned that political maps show borders or lines between areas. And the example we have in our book, North Carolina political map. And for physical maps, maps that shows um, different kinds of land, such as peninsula, swamps, uh, swamps, uh, uh, and also bodies of water and river and ocean and lakes. And for our example for this lesson, we used Utah physical map, all right? That's it for today, first graders. Thank you.